Hello everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating the use of our automated device reader software for deep brain stimulation devices. The goal of this project is to provide clinicians with a tool that can automatically record changes to device specific information, allowing them to focus on records of patient outcomes associated with device settings, while also facilitating the creation of a record of information that's conducive to standardized population level studies on implantable devices. I'll start by showing a sample of a screen recording from a mock device programming session to give you an idea of what it looks like when settings on these devices are being changed. These screen recordings are sampled by our software to record a timeline of changes made to settings throughout each programming session. The software will record information including IPG model, lead model, lead location, waveform parameters, electro configuration, and impedance, among others. Now that you have an idea of what settings can be changed throughout a device programming session, we'll run our device reader software. Upon running the script, a user interface is generated where we can change some software settings. First, we'll choose the screen recording that we want to read settings from. Next, we'll select a location to save our output file that contains the record of our device settings. And finally, we'll choose to save our scan results and run the scan. All right, our scan is completed in about four minutes. And after confirming, we'll see that the appointment details have been updated to display the last settings sampled from the device screen recording. Recorded device settings are stored as a di JSON dictionary object, which can be difficult to visualize. In order to help illustrate how data is stored in the file, I've written a script that provides us with an example of the data structure, shown here in green text. We can also pull specific information from our file using these lines of code at the bottom of the script. As an example, I'll change these indices so that we can take a look at amplitude data stored in program A for lead 1. The corresponding data is then printed in the command window at the right, generating a list of amplitudes for lead 1, program A, sampled from our screen recording. These recorded amplitudes will match the sequence of changes made to the device settings throughout the programming session, and this is also the case for each of the settings listed in the example structure on the left. The record of changes made throughout our recording session is now ready to be imported to a database. And the JSON file format makes our data compatible with a variety of database formats and data processing softwares. Future iterations of the software will support a wider array of stimulation devices, and we hope to add real-time screen recording capabilities in order to make this an easy-to-use tool for clinical programming sessions. Thank you for watching.